Hi, guys. I am excited to be here to film um, a One Stroke Advantage lesson that I'm in Atlanta and I'm at Penner's convention and unable to be in town. So I am going to share a fun bird with you and use some paste and a different background. And so I won't have you guys to talk to, but you're going to be right in my spirit right here in my heart. So I want you to see this is a bird. We're on a raised canvas and I have one that I have here. So you have time if you're not doing it live anyway. You have time to get these if you want them. I got these at Michael's, but um, I had this already base coated another dark color. So I wanted to make it the teal. So see the background? That's what we're going to work on, just the background. See, there's some gray, which looks lavender, but it's gray and teal and white. Um, I also wanted to share with you a couple of other birds that I have. I have four different birds in a packet. And these are all different positions. See, this one's a little more difficult. It's coming at you. This one is kind of looking backwards. This one that we're doing is looking forward. And then I have one more that somebody bought. And I like, no, I didn't want to sell that. <laughs> so anyway, um, it is, there's a foursome in the packets. And that packet is online if you want to get it. So I am going to do the, the details with you. We're going to go ahead and do the background first. And then we're going to put on our pattern and go for it. And I'll introduce some paste to you if you haven't tried it yet. Light and fluffy paste. Okay, so I'm going to get, we're going to switch over to another. Okay, so we have our paints ready. And we're using multi-surface paint, and I'm going to pull out some paste in a minute. But to do the background, I'm going to just tell you the colors as we're doing them, okay? So maybe I have to tell you now so you can grab them if you don't have them. So I have licorice and wicker white. Then I have aqua, teal, daffodil yellow, and magenta, some yellow ochre and burn umber for the branch, okay? So what we're going to do first, this is dark. So I'm, I'm going to um, take some white, wicker white, and some teal with my 12. And I'm going to slip, slap, slip, slap by using the corner. Because I wanted a little bit of movement in here. Okay, so it's teal, not aqua. Okay, I am slip slapping more. Slip slapping is back and forth, back and forth. Okay. And what I was doing before is just the corners. So sometimes I did come back and sweep the corner. Okay, and then I'm going to come over on this side. Now I can come in here with a little bit of white. Slap all in here. Okay, so I'm going to bring more dark in here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to cut through here with a little bit of licorice. When I originally did this, I, I did this with. Um, some other paint. That was to replace the W oils. So the color is just a little bit off. So this is, I'm getting a gray tone and I can add just a little bit. Uh, it was a thalo color. It, the backgrounds make it really yummy, too. Okay. I'm 
So see how it's getting that kind of busy look back there. We come along here, along here. And so I haven't done the edges. You can have it shade into there a little bit if you want. Okay, so we do want to trace our pattern on. So one thing I will be doing is drying this again. Now, what I did use was only the corner, but as you see, I'm using I'm trying to make it quick, be a little bit quicker. So I'm doing the whole brush. And my finger. <laughs> so okay. See? So it just makes it interesting to have these different backgrounds. See this one? I moved it a little bit different. And this one's big slip slaps. Okay. All right, so I'm going to blow dry that and move my paint so it doesn't get wet. It's pretty quick. Okay, so what we're going to do is line up our bird. Okay, so I have him right on the edge here. All right. So I'm going to just lift this and lay the carbon shiny side down. And then we're going to make the branches. Now I'm going to check and see if this is showing. Ooh, barely. I got to scrub it a little bit. Maybe because the uh, paint slightly might not be totally dry. Okay. Uh, well, that's not showing. So let's see what happens here. I just need the bird shape to be on here because I can do the branches. So what that means is it's got to dry better. That's showing because I'm scrubbing. Now I... I don't have to make every single mark in here. but I make it easier for you. All right. Pretty much can get this in here. Okay. So now, if you are on the tulips, I do have step bys of this bird from this first step on. I took different shots for you on that. Okay. So they'll be up close and personal. You'll be able to see it well. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to move this back up there. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right, there is a little bit of glare, but it isn't. It's just the sheen on, of the paint, okay? So I'm going to pick up. I've got my 16 right now. You'll probably be fine with your 12. But I'm going to get both these colors. And I start out with the browns. All right, let me make sure where that body is. Huh. Looks like it's bigger than that. Oh, there's the body way down there. Okay. Okay, I'm getting burn number and I 
All right, and it's going to go up under here, and we're going to come up here. And I did take it over the side some, just because I wanted that look, okay? And then it's going to cross over here. It shows it right in here. Okay, so I'm going to side load a teeny bit of licorice because I need that dark underneath here. See that? A little bit of licorice makes a big difference on this. See how that looks? You can put a little bit of yellow in here. This little bit, I, I have yellow ochre in there already. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go back to this 12. And I did a lot of it with a 12, but you can pull out an 8 and a 6 if you feel more comfortable. And the first thing you want to do is I'm going to take some white and some daffodil yellow. And I'm going to come all around here. Because I kind of made it a little fluffy along here. I'm going to come in here and do a little bit of the beak. So we're going to take the yellow, daffodil yellow and white. See, I'm going on the side of the white. Oh, let me turn it so y'all can see the side of the white. Because what I want to see is right in here. I don't want it this bright yellow. So I'm kind of bringing some white in. And so see the head's kind of right there. And it goes under here. See how that yellow, I mean, the white on the yellow makes a big difference. All right, so now keep picking up, side loading, just that one corner, okay? And then I'm going to take All right, let me bring some yellow in here. There's little splotches in there. Okay, so, so what you need to see is that, like, say, here's the head. And then you go down the neck and to the tummy. And these should uh, imitate feathers. Okay. Now, with the pace that I was sharing with you, the pace can go on the bird itself and on the branches. So that's kind of cool. So now what I want to take a few minutes and share with you on how to use this paste. All right. So I can pull the paint to the side and I have, let's get a palette knife and get some of the paste. So we need just a little bit. I get carried away and use too much. It's so light and fluffy, and uh, you got to keep the lid on there, okay? So let's do a couple. Like, I want to show you if I pull some burnt umber in here. So, see, it doesn't lighten the color as long as you put the right amount of brown. 
All right, so then I could even pick up some licorice in there. And this is just gonna give you fun texture, okay? So now let's put some yellow and let's pull some of this over. See how I work that in with your palette knife. And the set of palette knives, you get uh, like six of them for a very inexpensive, I think like $5.99 or so. All right, so I can then come in here with a little bit of licorice. Oh, I already did over there, but let's do a little bit here. So let's put a little bit more of that paste. All right, so this just gives you dimension. It makes it like three and four D. I got an award for a ribbon and cash at a local art show downtown for um, 4D. I'm like, what is 4D? <laughs> but it was kind of fun. All right. Okay, excuse me. All right, so I can come in here and just pick up this paste and add it along here. And you know me, you can use a palette knife, but I just, I love my brushes and I know how to manipulate and work them. So look, I picked up a little bit of the licorice. Let's put some brown on top. Here's some more brown. Okay, so I want you to see the texture. It makes it really cool looking texture. Okay, so we rinse this out. Then I want to show you, I wanted you to see it with or without the texture. All right, I'm gonna flatten this and then grab it. Can you see the texture in there? Let's get some white. Put a little bit of cheek in here. texture. A little bit of white and see how nice that looks. See, you can see the texture all in there. I see I made way too much yellow, but that's okay. All right, I did do a little bit of licorice, but let's see how that looks. You can't add water, see the water's on my brush, so I went ahead and left that. All right, so let's bring the white over. All right, then it comes in here, so. So this is the wing. All right, so see, we're putting in here. Okay, so now up here along the face, we kind of go up, put a little bit of this paste in there, and then we come down here. 
So right along here is the wing. So as I'm putting this in here, see there's little bits of feathers that come in here to make this look good. Now the one that, that I showed you guys had no paste in it. But I want you to see that it gives a really cool look to it. All right, so then I'm going to come in here without paste. I'm going to wipe off some of this and pick up teal. All right, and so I have some teal that comes in here. Okay, and a little bit under here. So that teal can go right on that texture afterwards. Okay. And I did have little bits in here, but then pick up some white and tail. And I put it right in here. Oops, that has too much black on it. See that little bit there? This is a little bit of aqua. And one last thing of white. It comes in right in here. Just kind of add what you feel like you need because you can look at birds in a online and I I just like to look up a wren, look up different types of birds and that's how I decide how to paint them. Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller brush. Um it is it's a little ones. All right. This is like a 6 and I'm going to pick up a little bit of white and and magenta. All right, I'm going to wipe that brush off and just pick up a little bit more, more magenta. And I'm going to come right in here. And see, I'm chiseling it. Isn't that kind of fun? And I'm going to take it a little bit over the eye. And then a little bit down here off the chin. All right, then little bits down here. I think this adds some pretty color to it when we did this. And now it's on that texture, so it even looks a little bit more like feathers. All right. can take some of that off. All right, so take the handle of your brush right into the licorice and put the eye right in there and let that sit, okay? So then we're going to take a little bit of a liner. And this is a one script liner and I'm going to pick up the white and licorice and make it gray. So what happens here is it goes up a little bit here and then back into the head. And when you're doing this, you're going to come down. Make sure that you don't do that beak too large. Okay, and then you're going to come under here and bring it down with just the licorice, okay? All right. So I am going to take a little bit of that off right there. See right in there to the pink. So I think that really adds to it. So I'll show you. We're going to put a teeny bit right there white. You have to roll the brush so you don't 
just a little teeny bit and then to finish him off guys look we just need a little bit oh let me take a smaller brush let me dry this okay okay I did have this big, my original big, a little skinnier. So if you do that, you can come right in here a little bit. Uh, uh, I think I won't take some of that off. I did it too much. I guess I just need to leave it. Sometimes my beaks are a little bit bigger than the others. Sometimes it's absolutely perfect, and sometimes I go, oh, okay. Here we go. All right, it looks a little better. Now I have this licorice on here on the two flat, and I'm going to come here and pick up a little bit of white and work it in. Now, look what happens. I dried that eye so I could come right here and just do a little shading of it. And then I'm going to tap the corner to do a little dot in the eye. All right. So there we go. I can also take this stylus and put a teeny little dot in here. Okay. And if you get too much, remember, you just come back and add a little bit of licorice back in there. Okay, so see how the eye looks in there. Okay, there we go. I was just trying to look at one against the other. We did a little bit of fluffy. A little bit of fluffy along his back here. So yellow and white. And then as you do this, a little fluffy. I just thought that really added to the bird. And you can see it did it up here too. All right, so I want to put the one little leg. So it, I'm going to use this two script liner so it's smaller. And I'm going to pick up licorice first. And so the licorice came right from inside this fuzziness. It comes straight down. You can draw it back on if you want to with, a, with your pattern. And then you come down, down, and then wrap it around the trunk. And there's one back here. When I looked this bird up, he was on this branch and the back Allen's grab there. And then I'm just going to come in here and add a little bit of white on top of the wet licorice. Oops, that got yellow. <laughs> okay. So the white I ran along inside and then down. Okay, so I came down the leg, and then a little bit on each one of these. All right. There we go. So sign it and share it. Okay. All right. I hope to see y'all next week. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.